But an orc blade is a very personal thing. Anger, regret, pride. All these things are put into our steel. When my daughter last chose to leave the stronghold, I forged a sword to channel all my shame and grief. Honor me with a task, Outlander. Bring the sword to my daughter if you see her. It'll be all she needs to know. Hello, Outlander and viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Thank Entertainment, you. doing a sort of a follow up video to the Forge Master's Fingers you video. Yourself, In this down. case, after you enter a stronghold and talk to the chief and communicate with the uh, woman who you just saw at the beginning of the video. Well, when you leave the orc stronghold, and actually if you discover it, there is a small side area, rune, dwarven rune, that if you'd gone there first, you could have fast forward to deliver the Forge Master's fingers next time. a lot quicker, but I digress. Uh, this little tower is immediately to I the left of the, or should I say trade. right, when you exit, of the Take Orc Stronghold. It just it depends on which exit you use. And once you walk there, it's very easy, and you wind up getting some Dwarven junk that you can forge into Dwarven Metal Ingots and make dwarven bows if you want to um, exploit certain aspects of the, um, how shall I say, right. parts of the game, aspects of the game. I've shown you a few, I believe, but I digress. Let's get on with finding this place. As you see, once I exited the Orc Stronghold, the tower is immediately seen on the right-hand side. It's a quick walk to it. It's very easy. Reach Wind Ire, and you can harvest some ingredients. Once you enter Reach Wind Ire, there is the... Dwarven junk that is going to be strewn about. This is, again, someplace, if you come upon the orc stronghold that I just left, you should walk to it once you see it. Now, I'm taking everything that is available, scrap metal, junk, whatever. Like I said before, the junk itself can be useful later on in the game if you encounter the right person. Elven helmet, metal, metal, uh, a mace, I'm going to take, cup, take, lever, take. This is the whatever heavy armor forging thing that increases your armor smithing. And then again, I've always told you, keep lots and lots of lockpicks because you're going to end up snapping them. Once I get this open, let's see what's inside. You got to fuddle about a bit, uh, move it a little bit and adjust and ooh, yeah. Again, keep lots of lockpicks until you can really improve your lockpicking skill or how shall I say use an exploit to raise your skills up to such a level that you only need one lock pick for the rest of the game. Uh, scroll, yeah, some minor stuff, common soul gem. Again, there's some dwarven scrap metal here, pick that up. And now that I've cleared the area out, up uh, this one, let's go outside. And again, reach Wind Ire, you get a really good, beautiful view of the valley. You got a bird's nest here, thrush egg, 
chest. Oh, this is going to be forever. But once you find Reach Wind Ire, and again, if you come upon that dwarf, dwarf orc stronghold, walk to Reach Wind Iron. Iron. Because once you get Forge Master's fingers, you can just jump to Reach Wind Iron here and walk over to the orc stronghold instead of having to go to Mark Karth, walk back. Yeah, it's a pain. But I digress, and let's see if I got this open. Oh, oh yeah, garbage, gold, me, hunting bow of diminishing. Might have to disenchant that. Anyway, once you're here, you can just fast travel out to somewhere else. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. Leave comments. I love reading comments and responding to them. And if you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four times a week, and I'm going to keep doing it with few exceptions. And you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for stopping by.